The following is a tutorial on FLIR's Research IR Max software and measurement functions. Right now I'm looking at some live data coming over from a printed circuit board with our A6703 and a 1x close-up lens. We're looking at an LED that's heating up and cooling down fairly rapidly. I've created a box measurement tool as well as a cursor measurement tool. And I'm going to reference these when I create a measurement function. Now I've docked the stats window just to the right of the image and down here at the bottom I'll see my measurement functions. I click on the plus sign and it brings up a measurement function editor. I can refer reference object parameters, regions of interest, other measurement functions, or information from the camera, for example like time or temperature sensors within the camera. Here let's create a function that takes the maximum temperature from within the box and subtracts it from the minimum temperature. I'll call this box delta. I just go in here under my regions of interest. There's the box one I created. Click on the maximum temperature and add that as a variable. I'm going to subtract that from the minimum temperature within the box and I'll click OK. And now I just see that box delta down here. If I select it, I can also add that to a temporal plot or create a new temporal plot directly from the measurement function window. And here's that delta plotting out. Now in the triggering tutorial, we're going to show you how you can trigger based on scene temperature. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a measurement function that gives me a true or false. So let's take, go to our regions of interest again. I'm going to grab the box and take the box temperature, add that as a variable, and say if that goes over I don't know, 26 Celsius, then I'm going to create an alarm. So I'll label it alarm. I've created that and the result is a Boolean. It's either true or false. It's above the threshold or below the threshold. I can then reference this as an alarm trigger when we get into the triggering tutorial. But that's measurement functions, very easy to use. For more information on Research IR Max, please reference the other, other tutorials available online.